Hi, Paul with Diode Dynamics, and today we're talking about measuring headlight beam patterns. Now, I'm sure you've seen videos where people use a light meter like this, or a photo of a wall output, and they'll say maximum intensity. The way they do that is just using a basic $100 light meter, and we can measure the maximum point. But when it comes to headlight beam patterns, there's a lot more to it than that. We've got many different points where we want to measure to see the total glare, the foreground, everything about that beam pattern. Also, tools like this are good and easy to use, but they're not very precise. To get a really good measurement, just like they do at the factory OEM level, we have to use a little bit bigger tool. So to get a more precise measurement, we've got to step it up to a machine like this. Now this is called a goniometer, and I'm standing in our light tunnel here at Diodynamics. Now these are used by all the OEM designers and engineers, and they're pretty rare because they're not too cheap. But what this will do is allow us to get our beam pattern measured very precisely. So how does it work? Well, the whole setup is pretty similar to just shining it on the wall. We've got our headlight set up here, so our first step is just to turn it on. Now from here, as I said, I'm in our light tunnel. All the walls in here are a dark fabric, and that's going to absorb any stray light. Then we're going to shine it all the way to the end of this light tunnel where our sensor is. Again, this is pretty similar to holding a sensor on the wall, but we're going to actually keep the sensor in the exact same position this whole time. Instead, we're going to angle the headlight here. So we're going to angle it left or right, up or down, to get the exact uh, point for measurement that we need to. And since this is computer controlled, we can scan across left to right over and over and over to build and uh, basically measure the entire beam pattern. That would take a long time if you manually wrote down the measurement at every you know, centimeter on the wall. With this, we can measure hundredth of degree increments, so it's very precise and it all gets fed into the computer where we can analyze it and also check to make sure we're meeting the requirements for photometric points for SAE DOT beam patterns. So let's take a look at those now. Now with our measurement complete, we have to start figuring out what it all means. When we're describing a headlight's beam pattern, we can take it in the context of test points. One to the left, one up, one straight down the center, and a lot of people will just test one test point, the maximum value. We do that as well because it's always good to see, you know, before and after halogen to LED, what's the total increase in that max point. But when you're talking the whole beam pattern, there's a lot more to it than that. And that's how the re regulations are written as well. So for example, this is an SAE regulation and we have a max point right in the center, but then we have to also make sure we're not shining too much light down and away. FMBSS or DOT testing is written like this as well. For these, we'll have HV notation. So left or right, and then up or down. So for example, one test point would be two up and four left. And for that, we have to have a minimum value of 135 candela. So we need to go through and test each and every one of these points. Of course, the max is important to make sure we have enough light directly down the road, but there's so much more to it when it comes to getting a good beam pattern, especially those test points, they're gonna make sure we don't have too much glare. So all of these get translated directly into our software. So you can see we have listed out all those test points in the same way, two up, four left, uh, H four left, and then our maximum or minimum values for each one of those points. Here's our tests, indicating all of the values that we actually tested for. And then here, everything is actually plotted out. So you can kind of visualize how a beam pattern would sit right on top of this here. We've got glare line right here, glare line here. We've got to be fitting everything in this pattern with those minimum and maximum values. Once we're sure that everything's aimed and uh, shining properly to meet the requirements, we can then look at the full beam pattern as well. So here's where we scanned across and he had uh, thousands of points taken for these measurements. So we can get an ISO candela chart showing from zero all the way up to 75,000 candela with a color scale here where our output is. You can see on this headlamp, like on all headlamps, we've got our hotspot just a little bit to the right and down, and then a nice cutoff line. We can also determine how high it is off the ground and then get this bird's eye view. So you might see this type of uh, photo on our website and this isn't a Photoshop or anything. This is a generated image from the real data and real measurement showing how far down the road you should be able to shine your light with your headlights. So that's how we get 
all this data displayed and analyzed properly. As you can see, when it comes to measuring headlight beam patterns, you can definitely take a single point on the wall, but if you want to measure the entire beam pattern with a lot of accuracy, you have to use a whole setup like this. At Dive Dynamics, we're fortunate enough to do this so that we can compare halogen and LED output patterns and make sure that we're adding output without adding any extra glare. You can find more information at divedynamics.com or find our products at a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.